Hey guys, two things I want to let you know real quickly just before this video starts. So the first thing is, uh, I actually lost a lot of my GoPro footage um, that was supposed to be on this very video. Well, I say a lot, it was the first day's worth of recording. Uh, what you're about to see is the second day's worth of recording, which is why when the video does start, uh, it, it cuts to me saying, you join me three hours later. Um, so just bear that in mind. But it's still a 40-minute vlog uh, with lots of... Uh, interesting stuff in it so that's good second thing is if you're watching this video on saturday the 19th of december the day i've uploaded it and before 8 p.m then good news because um i'm going to be live on uh dazza the truckers show tonight so if you're if you're listening to me say this before 8 p.m on 19th of December, Saturday 19th of December, then um, click the link down below. It will take you to the uh, uh, Dazza's uh, YouTube channel where you will see me live. It's going to be me, Ashley Hale UK, Sam K, and Dazza the Trucker. So that's on Dazza the Trucker's YouTube channel. It's a live show with, with me and three others. What I will say is... Please, no children. It's not a family-friendly show. There will be swearing. There will be drinking. It's 18 plus only, so... 8 p.m. tonight that's going to be on if you're watching this on the day I've uploaded so bear that in mind right let's get on with the video uh you will join me three hours later <laughs> see you in a bit Okay, you join me three hours later. Three hours later. Uh, we're just around the corner now from uh, from Mitchell Dean. Need to head in to here. Uh, get this offloaded and then get reloaded with uh, four deliveries for tomorrow. So that's what we're gonna do. It'd be nice if they get me in and out in an hour, but <laughs> I can't see that happening. It's uh. It's 20 to 3 at the moment. Can I go? Yeah, I can go. Yeah. Yeah, it's, um, it's 20 to 3 at the moment, so I reckon I'll get out of here about 4 o'clock if all goes well. If all goes well. And then back in the yard for what, half 5 ish? I think it takes about an hour and a half to get back. Got to go at Bird Lip Hill, mind. Uh, I hate it when barriers are opened already because. I fear they're going to close as I go past. Bump. Oh, that wasn't much of a bump. I was anticipating a bigger bump. <laughs> Welcome to Vantage Point Business Park. Excellente. Right. Oh. Looks to be a few trucks and trailers in there already, right in front of us. Obviously the good news is, once they unload us, they uh, will reload us in exactly the same position, I hope. Would have thought so. You need to slow down. Yeah. So a FedEx van just comes speeding down there, and I, was thought, I thought you were going to turn right. There's nowhere to get loaded yet. I'm hoping, I'm hoping they're not queuing up around the other side to get in. It is entirely possible though. Entirely possible. Right, let's turn right down here. Really get to listen to the engine now, per up here. There's a range truck there, I don't know if it's waiting to get in or not. I've always just been told to come down here and park on the right hand side. Might be pushing in here, I'm not sure. 
I've always just been told to come here. So that's what I'm doing. Hazards on. Actually, no, hazards off because they annoy me. <laughs> right, where are we at? Oh, there's an and Andy Dean truck over there. Chuck a Craig drives for him. Smart trucks there. He has a Renault there. That looks like a DAF. Anyway, I'm going to go see if I can find out um, what's happening. They might get me in early. I don't know. Who knows? Let's go tell them I'm here. See you in a bit. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news is we're offloaded, we're empty. Bad news is we have to wait to be reloaded. <laughs> um, where's he going? I'm just, uh, just watching out where everyone is. The safest thing to do right now would be to go forward, but I just need to reverse back around that corner. Making sure everyone's clear. That lorry's going under there. That forklift's going past. There we go. So yeah, we just want to park around here now. We've got to wait on that bend where we were earlier. Curtains are open, all ready to go, so that's a good thing. They're all tied back as well, so they are secure. Excellent. And then we just roll forward. There we are. So people Trucks can get past us on the left hand side and uh, we want to go far enough forward that they can see us <laughs> uh, so they don't forget that we're here. This is what we're going to do, we're going to park here. Uh, the hazards are coming off because they're, they're so annoying just on all the time, so loud. There's a range lorry look. But yeah, no apparently um, <laughs> it's booked in for a five o'clock collection, it's half past three. So we might be, <laughs> might be here a little bit longer than expected. Um, I don't know whether that means night out yet or not. I need to do some calculations and, and, and basically find out. Um, let me turn that light on. Uh, I started at 5 o'clock this morning, so I can work until 8 o'clock tonight. But uh, driving time could potentially be an issue because I have done a bit of driving today. So, yeah, print out. Yes, so we are going to do a print out and just double check what driving time we've got available for us uh whether we can actually make it home anyway because i don't even know yet whether we can make it back to the yard or whether we can make it halfway to our destination i don't know i need to do some calculations and find out um when i know i'll get back to you okay situation is this so it takes a little bit over an hour to get back to the yard uh and i've got two hours 17 minutes so i've got over two hours of driving time left so that's fine i can get back to the yard no problem, as long as I get back to the yard before eight o'clock. My current ETA, um, well, it's 20 to four now, so I'd get there about five o'clock, which is fine, but that's if I leave now, but I can only work until eight o'clock. So what that means is I've got three hours to get loaded. I should be loaded and I should be heading back tonight, but um, you never know, <laughs> stranger things have happened. Um, or I might go straight there. Um, it takes two and a half hours to get to where we've got to be. Again, I've got enough driving time to get there. And again, as long as I'm loaded within the next hour and a half, I could go straight there. So um, we're, we're playing by here. Here, We're we'll playing by ear, see what happens. There is a lorry currently getting loaded there in front of me. I don't know if you can see. There's loads of lorries down there, so I'm just waiting for them to call me now. So yeah, never mind. Anyway, night eater is on because it's cold and the engine's not running. Um, I'm now just going to chill out on my phone for a little bit. <laughs> Do you know what? I might have a... I might have a cheeky break while I'm at it. We don't necessarily need one. I can't see because the ignition's off. Uh, oh yeah, I do. I'm on. I'm on three hours drive time, so 
I could do with a with a break actually, <laughs> just so I can reset my drive time if need be. If I am here for an hour before going in, so we're whack it on break, uh -huh. and we'll see we'll see if we can get a break in. Right, see you in a bit. Right, lights on a sec. How you doing? Right, we're loaded. Let me just sort myself out. Adjust the suspension. Oh, air's gone down as well. Build some air up. Uh, high beers can come off. Woo! I get asked so many times, Luke, why do you wear the high beers all the time? Uh, simple answer. I'm lazy. I just can't bother to take it off and on again. <laughs> There's no point lying about it, is it? Right, drive, forward, lights, mirrors. I don't, I'll just turn that one on a sec so you can still see me. Hazards off, lights on. Woo! Side lights were already on, by the way, just not the main lights. So, yeah, it's 20 to 5 now. So, um, yeah, it's getting on. We are, we are going to go straight home. We're going to, well, A, I say straight home, I mean straight back to the yard. And B, I mean I need to get some fuel first. <laughs> so, it's, it's, it's going to be more like 6 o'clock back in the yard, I reckon. So, no biggie, no biggie. We start at 5, so that's a 13-hour uh, shift. Oh, actually, I've got to be careful. <laughs> Bear with. I've got to be careful that I've not done too many 13-hour uh, shifts. Let me just double-check quickly. Did a quarter past 5 to 6, which is a 12.45, so that's fine. Quarter past 5 to 7. So that is a 13. I did a half four to eight, so that's that's like nearly a 15. And then today's gonna be 15 as well. It's gonna be over a 13, which means it's gonna be uh hang on, five to six. Yeah, it's gonna be an over it's gonna be over a 13 hour shift today, which means that'll be my third shift over 13 hours. Um which means two things. Well actually that means one thing. Do I need where's the way out? This way is the way out. Sorry, I've not I've not come out of here in the dark before. <laughs> Ah, uh, I'll get to my point in a minute. Today will be my third 13 hour shift, which means, or well, 13 hours or more, which means tomorrow I cannot do more than 13 hours. I have to be finished um, before 13 hours is up, uh, which means I think I'm gonna be starting tomorrow about six o'clock. So I need to be finished by seven. So it, it, it's quite likely I will be doing less than 13 hours tomorrow anyway based on what's planned for me. All I've got to do is go to, from the yard in uh, South Cerny, all I've got to do is go to Aylesbury, uh, um, which will take a couple of hours. From Aylesbury, go to Milton Keynes, which is maybe another hour. Um, from Milton Keynes, I've got to go down to uh, Luton, maybe a couple of hours, and then Luton to Shur um, Stevenage. That's got to be less than an hour. And then uh, back home, which is probably two hours. So, driving-wise, I don't know. I don't, I don't think we're looking at more than six, seven hours, which is perfectly average. Um, and working time, uh, normally you say an hour for each place you deliver to. On the assumption you've got a full load, but you've got to remember that I'm delivering one full trailer to all those four stores. So, like the first store, I've only got four pallets coming off. Second store is only five pallets coming off, I think. Third store is only two, and then the rest is six, or something, something like that. I've got all the paperwork, I'll look at it tomorrow. So, uh, I'm gonna go, because it's dark and you can barely see me, and barely see outside the road, so I'm gonna go. Uh, and I will see you tomorrow morning, when we are pretty much, well, we, we probably will be in Aylesbury, and it should just be about getting a light. Um, so yeah, see you tomorrow. Hello, and welcome to day two day two we are uh, we're still loaded we've got the trailer on and we are in Aylesbury now I just want to say I managed to get um, back home last night I filled up with fuel as well well I didn't actually fill up with fuel I put a little bit in enough for today that's besides the point anyway I got to put fuel in and I got back to the yard for um, five minutes to six now that is important because I started at five o'clock in the morning yesterday which means yesterday I did a 12 hour and 55 minute shift um, in total which means I didn't go over a 13 hour shift which means I can do a 15 hour shift today if I need it whereas if I <laughs> if I did those extra five minutes yesterday 
then I would have been limited to a 13 hour shift today. But because I didn't use those extra five minutes, um, I'm not limited to a 13 today, I can do a 15 today. Does that make sense? Good, glad you're up to date. <laughs> Such is the rules and regulations of HGV driving. There's loads of like little bits like that. So yeah, anyway, we're literally just around the corner, uh, three quarters of a mile. Um, I do believe um, Andy, my colleague, said once I cut you, I think he said he delivered it. I got a. When I go in, you'll see in a minute. When I go in, it's to the right hand side. But he said turn left, then reverse back because you can't spin around. It's a bit tight. So um, we are going to prepare for that. Um, I did a collection not too long ago down there. Turn right, and then it was on the left. But I think we turn right down here. Hopefully the gate is open. Yes, it is. Oh, there's a truck in there. This could be a nightmare. Because I want to get down there. How do I get down there then? That's really annoying. I'm gonna have to go in and turn left. There's a truck, there's a bay, there's a bay blocking the way out. I'm not even sure if I can make that turn, you know. I need to take that a bit wider. That's quite a tight left turn as well. Let me just concentrate a sec. Ah, uh, yeah, no problem now. Yeah, I'm just going to have to put my hazards on and go and speak to someone because uh, where that lorry is, it's stopping me from going back. So I need to go see someone and find out what I can do. Right, see you in a bit. Right, offloaded. We were only waiting 10 minutes for him to move. He's just there on the right hand side. Uh, so that got to about 8 o'clock and it's 10 past 8 now. So we literally got those six pallets off in less than 10 minutes. Happy days. Now, let's try and get out of here without hitting anything. It's quite a tight little entrance, this is. There we go. Hazard's off. Seat back on. So, 22 miles to go, 48 minutes. We should be at Ailes. Not Aylesbury, we're here now. <laughs> we should be at Milton Keynes in about 50 minutes. So we should be there for about nine o'clock. Uh, so yeah, happy days, happy days. That place is a bit of a nightmare, it really is. Oh, this is another tight turn. It's not, it's not that it's a tight turn, it's just that we've got cars on the inside that I won't be able to see very well. There we go, we're good. Yeah, so when I come in, I was like, what? How am I supposed to get down there? I said to him, I said, it's stupid. I said to the driver, the gist, I said, it's stupid design, isn't it? He was following, he didn't, I don't think he understood what I said. Thank you. But that is a stupid design. It's a loading bay which literally blocks off half the uh, the yard. It's not just the range that have got deliveries down there, it's um, a couple of other stores as well, like Pets at Home and stuff. So no one, no one can get any deliveries if that gist lorry or a gist lorry is there getting loaded or offloaded on that bay. It's, it's stupid. It's like it's in, you know, hurting everybody else's business, so to speak. So, never mind. Luckily, we ain't gonna go there again today, so all done. Let's just get out of this roundabout. Where are you going, straight on? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, right, let's crack on then to uh, Milton Keynes. 
I shall see you when we get there. See you in a bit. Welcome to what probably doesn't look very foggy, but actually is quite a foggy Milton Keynes. Doesn't really come up on camera too well, but um, yeah, pretty foggy out there. Um, as per usual, we are literally less than a mile away now from our destination. Uh, we're going to be there in two minutes or so. ETA is five to nine. The store itself doesn't actually open up until nine o'clock, so um, we might uh, be waiting a few minutes before anyone actually starts work. So we'll uh, we'll see. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Keep the momentum. Yeah. Excellente. Right. We need to take a left-hand turn up here. Um, and then I believe it's on our left somewhere. Somewhere over there. We need to go left and left again. So we should we should see it very momentarily. There's Wix's. Uh, B and M. Where there's a B and M, there's normally a range. Are you gonna come out? No, don't come out. Don't come out. Don't come out. Bend some birds seen it yet. We're going left at this roundabout. Excellente. Yes, Swindon is quite notorious for having a lot of roundabouts, but not as many as bloody Milton Keynes. <laughs> then again, you know you know why there's so many roundabouts in Milton Keynes, don't you? So then you've got more chance to turn around and go the opposite direction. <laughs> <coughs> Best thing about Milton Keynes, in my opinion, is uh, Red Bull Racing. Right, the range is there, and I believe the service yard is here on the left. But I might actually just put my hazards on before going in, because I might have to reverse in. I'm not sure. Right, let me go see him. Right, I had a sneaky suspicion. A sneaky suspicion it was going to be that. He wants me to reverse in. So go down the roundabout, spin round, and reverse in. So. Thank you car, I'm just about to swing out and that car just come down the left side. That was nice of him. I think they might want me to get over a bit more. Right, that's it, that's where he wants me. I'm gonna go and uh, get this off. See you in a bit. Right, that's the next one done. So now we want the loot and run. Oh, glasses going everywhere. Loop and run there, put the seals in my pocket, ready to go. Destination on the sat nav, I think there's someone waiting to get in. But I'm not going anywhere until I know which way I'm going. Actually, I, could, I think I've got to go right, but I could just turn left, I suppose. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I'm just going to get out of here a second so that lorry can get in. And then I can put the destination in the sat nav. Just going to wait here a second because I can't remember. It doesn't actually say. So I've just talked to myself here. It doesn't actually say on my uh, sat nav whether it's in Luton. It just says the street name, and the street name is. Dunstable Road. Hazards off. We're only we're only 21 miles away. Oh, there's a 10 minute delay though. Uh, there's a 10 minute delay right in Luton, which we're going to get held up in. It looks like it's right outside the store. 
Anyway, you need to turn around. So yeah, our ETA there is about 10 o'clock. It's actually it's actually booked in, I believe, for 12 o'clock. <laughs> so we will be two hours early. Uh, this one here was booked in for 10 o'clock, and it's nine o'clock now. When well, nine o'clock when we got there. Uh, so they yeah they've taken their five pallets off and they've loaded me with uh, um, five pallets of waste plus they've loaded me with an, addi an additional six pallets of waste for because the first stop didn't put any waste on so they filled up the whole lorry with with their waste which you know they're entitled to do so we are now f technically fully loaded again not fully weighted but we can't fit any more pallets on so we we were going to be half empty <laughs> but we're fully loaded again. Right, so yeah, we're going to head to uh, Luton now. Hopefully we get in and out quite quick. There's only, how many pallets coming off? Four pallets for Luton. Only four pallets. So it's not going to take long. And, they, and if they want to put waste on, they've only got space for four. So we've got to turn around at the roundabout. We could technically just turn around there, but I'll, uh, I'll do it at the roundabout instead. Never mind. Right, I'll see you when we get to Luton. Yeah, that 10 minute delay, um, we it was on the M1 going southbound uh, past Junction 11, which is the one that we need. Um, so yeah, we, we, have, we have been in this traffic going this slow for about 10 minutes now. Not to worry, we are 400 yards away, according to my sat nav. There's a 200 yard marker board, so surely it's less than that then. <laughs> um, we're only a mile away from the actual place itself, so. Once we get out of this traffic on the M1 um, and get into Luton, we should be fine. Problem is, I believe we've got to get back onto the M1 to go to Stevenage afterwards. And um, I've only got four pallets coming off and then another four going on if they have any waste. So we're probably going to be back in this again. Although the signs have just changed the national speed limit there. Or was that for the slip road? I think that's for the slip road. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, according to the sat nav, um, the traffic eases off after the next junction down I think so it might be a case of going through Luton as opposed to back onto the M1 to get into the other side of the junction and then um, go from there but yeah anyway we're off the M1 now there's something going on down there somehow a hold up of some sort no idea we just need to go left down here for a little bit and then we'll be at Z range also, we need to consider getting a break in at some point. We've done three hours driving, so um, we've got an hour and a half, just under an hour and a half actually. So I think we might be able to make it to the next destination before requiring a break for driving time. But we also need to contemplate uh, working time directives. So we started at six o'clock this morning, which means we've got to stop by 12 o'clock this afternoon. Um, whichever comes first, 12 o'clock this afternoon or four and a half hours driving, whichever one. Um, but I got a, I got a feeling I might be able to make it to Stevenage, and then have a break somewhere there. Right, there's the range. Do you want to go there? Ba, ba, ba. Yeah, this road, this road definitely looks a bit busier. Yeah, I just want to stop here because I'm not going to be able to get round that way. I think I'm going to have to go and see him a sec. I think I'll, I don't know how I'm getting in there, to be honest. It's a bit nasty. That's a very nasty turn. Right, I'm going to go and see what they say. See you in a bit. Right, this doesn't look like it's going to be an easy uh, thing to do. They told me to drive in the right and then just reverse back across the road. Just having that car to stop. One car did go past me. I don't. Yeah, it was the car that I told to stop, didn't stop. What a knobhead. Uh, uh, uh. 
bum, bum. He should really have a banksman for that. That was a bit naughty. But never mind, we're in. Right, that'll do. Yeah, a little bit annoying that, and no one wanted to watch me back, and a little bit annoying that that car didn't stop, even though I quite clearly put my hand out and told him to stop. Um, never mind. No one could come from that side because my trailer was still in the road, but it was halfway across the road, and the car coming from that direction that I told to stop cut across. So, just uh, excuse my language, but a complete knobhead. <laughs> right, anyway, we're in. Um, before we get out, we're just going to put the destination in for the next place, which is Stevenage. So I'll see you in a bit. Okay. Offloaded. It's now 20 past 10. So again, very quick. Haven't got a chance to actually do anything. And we don't actually have to go down the M1 South either. Because Stevenage... Stevenage isn't south of us, it's west of us. So we literally are going almost around Luton to get to Hitchin, to get to Stevenage, to avoid any traffic. But I think that is actually the quickest way, quickest way as well. Uh, brilliant. So yeah, that's where we're going. I do believe we need to turn right out of here, the way we came. Hopefully we can get out of that instance. Oh no, we are, we're going left. We are going left, not right. Even better. I haven't got to give way to two roads. Just the one road is clear to the right. Thank you very much. Right, yeah, so we're 17 miles away. Just mind that tree. 42 minutes, so we should be there for 11 o'clock, so we're gonna be good on the working time directive. Uh, 42 minutes would mean we're fine on the driving time directive as well, we just need to find somewhere to park up then after we've uh, after we've tipped. Are you going? Oh, I'm gonna wait for you. All good, let's go. Yeah, I do apologize for not being able to show you any footage of me actually getting unloaded or what's on the trailer or anything like that. It's just that, it's done so quick, there is no time to. Um, oh, for example, I, I undo one curtain and then I go do the other side. And by the time I've done the other side, they finished unloading the first side. So I'm then going back to do up the first curtain. And then when I've done that up, they finish undoing the other sides and then I'm undoing that one up. So it's just go, 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 it's constant. There's no, uh, there's no time to actually get any cameras out to actually press record, we're just, uh, we're working, <laughs> basically, and uh, I've always said this, the job comes first. Stay there, everyone's waiting behind you. Um, yeah, the job comes first, so I don't, um, I don't make my day any longer by doing the videos, put it that way. Um, I video on the go. So yeah, always said that. So uh, unfortunately, if I can't film uh, what's on the load, it's because uh, there's no time, basically. So yeah, anyway, 40 minutes then to uh, Stevenage. Let's uh, get crack a in. You're gonna make it very difficult for me to pass you by turning out there, mate. Very difficult. He, he kind of pulled out without looking to see what was coming. Anyway, we're out. Uh, this is supposedly an A road. <laughs> right, I'll see you later. Okay, same situation as the previous three times. We are a mile away from where we need to be. Let's wait for this truck to go forward. Hopefully these lights don't change, but they might do because they've been green for a while. Come on, truck. Yes. Yes. What's that? Police motorway post. I have never seen one of them. Wow, I've never seen one of them before. Never mind. Right, yeah, so we're less than a mile away now from uh, where we need to be. The BP station there, is that big enough for a truck? For a any chance? To park? To have a break? Do you know what? I reckon you could. I'll have a look on Google Maps uh, when we're stationary. That could be, that could be where we park for a break, I'm not sure. I am not sure. Uh, in terms of driving time, we've got 
50 minutes of drive time left and we can work for another hour. So um, we're looking good, we're looking good. Right, we need to turn right at this roundabout. We should be able to see the range on the right hand side. There we go, that blue building there, I believe. Yes, there's the range. Burger King there, Pizza Hut. Go. Well, I need to make a judgment call very quickly up here. Do, can I turn right and spin round, or do I need to reverse in off the road? There's a car right behind me as well. Yeah, I need to reverse in off the road by the looks of it. I was going to avoid you. Got hazards on and everything, but people don't care at all. We can make this. Thank you, thank you. I'm not entirely sure that was the best way to do it, but it's the way we've done it. Might have been able to spin around here on the spot, but I didn't want to risk it and then have to reverse back out on the main road. But anyway, we're just going to stop here now because there's a, like I said, there's a lorry in there. That was a bit of a challenge. Whew. It's like cars, cars have stopped and you're like, you got your, my hazards are on. I'm, I'm, I'm broadcasting I'm a hazard you know, give me room. And then cars do unpredictable things like move forward. It was just about to turn right to avoid hitting her and then she moved forward into my path. And then as I'm reversing back, she goes into my path again and stuff like that. But yeah, no, we made it. We made it and it was not too bad. In hindsight, it might've been a little bit easier if we turned left a little bit more up there to reverse back, but we're in, we're in. We got to wait for the Gregory's truck to come out. So I'm just going to walk on up there now and let them know that I'm here. And then, uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get offloaded. I'm just going to turn the hazards off now because they're annoying. <laughs> right, see you in a bit. Okay, situation report. All done. No more deliveries to make today. Although I am wet. Oh, soaked. Right, working time. We've got 40 minutes of working time left. Driving time we've got... Uh, 40 minutes of driving time left as well. 42 to be precise. Uh, is it 42? No, 32, sorry, 32. So we need to find somewhere to park up We're in the next sort of 30 minutes. Uh, I'm gonna uh, try and get to that BP garage that we saw earlier. There's not room to park at the garage, I don't think, but I'm hoping I can park on the industrial estate that's there. That's what I'm planning to do. Um, I could really just park in here if I really wanted to, but I'd rather not block one of their spaces. Although it may, although it may cause mayhem, um, we can legally park somewhere down here. Yeah, I'm gonna put my hazards on and park here. Look. There we go, I think I'm a hundred yards away from each junction. I'm smack bang in the middle, no lines. Hang on, parking conditions apply. No parking on this roadway at any time. Okay, not allowed to park here. That sign says no parking. So we will not park here. Round we go. So what we'll have to do now is just crack, carry on with our journey um, and just find the nearest space to, uh, to park up. Got loads of time, 
not worried about time in the, in the slightest. It's just uh, would have been nice to park here because obviously the petrol station is so close by that um, could have got some food. But if there's no park, if there's parking restrictions there, I'm going to assume there's parking restrictions all down here. Uh, yeah, I can see the signs; they're all up everywhere. So yeah, we're just going to uh, crack on with our journey, and uh, we'll probably find a layby to pull in somewhere. Bit of a shame about the food situation, but never mind. There are starving children elsewhere. I can manage a few hours. <laughs> right, I'm going to crack on. I'll see you in a bit. Right, so you join me, what, 15 minutes later, if that. We're um, just coming off the A1M now to get onto the M25, but we're going to stop at South Member Services look, for our break. So this is where we're going to stop. I'm not entirely sure what lane I need from this angle. I'm going to say lane one. Yep, lane one. So yeah, we're going to stop for a 45 break, uh, 45 minute break here. I might even have an hour, who knows? Because <laughs> all I've got to do now is go back, drop the trailer off and then go back to the yard. And if I if I, if I have an hour break here, I'd still get that done by three o'clock, so. <laughs> um, but I don't, want to, I don't want to leave it too late, or I'll be on the M25 at an awkward time. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna stop here for a cheeky 45 minute break. Probably go in and get some, some hot food. And, uh, and yeah, and then go home. So, I mean, that's probably gonna be it for today. There's nothing really else to see. Um, so I wanna thank you now for watching this video. I do appreciate it. We've got some cars turning left here, look, in the wrong lane. So yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.